The Federation's rise to power had started years ago. When the great energy-producing deserts were destroyed, the world powers that depended on them collapsed. And in their wake, the Federation began to rise. The Federation united all of South America under one banner and devoured everything in its path as it moved relentlessly to the north. After turning Odin against us, the Federation stood on the doorstep of America, poised for the kill. They thought we were weak, crippled, prey, waiting to be taken. We fought hard. We fought well. We fought them to a bloody stalemate. And here, just beyond the craters of no man's land, we find ourselves in a defensive war against a more powerful enemy. Ten years later. Hello guys, welcome back to some more Call of Duty Ghosts. In this episode, we're playing on the mission Brave New World. Brave New World, June 6th, Los Angeles, California. Sorry I didn't wake you up. Thought you could use a sleep. I love my sleep. Let's go. Quiet boy. Listen. Hey, Riley's got something. Grab a gear, let's move. Right, so we've got a little we've got a new ally on our team, Riley, who we didn't meet in the last mission. Who is currently the Walker family's pet dog. He's trained like a army dog as well, which is pretty nice. He is going to be a very handy dog as we play through the game campaign. We even get to play as him in some parts of the mission as well, which is really fun, I'm not going to lie. Can I just shoot through this? No. When I shoot through it, there's no holes going through that whatsoever. This is once a theatre. Now the Federation sure wrecked this place. Odin will turn against us, and the Federation have caused all this damage. So ten years after the first mission, the world, some places in America still look like an absolute state. Oh, I love Riley, he's such a, he's such a cool dog. German Shepherd. A neighbor used to have a German Shepherd on my road. Yeah, and he was such a big... He was quite a big... They are quite big dogs, German Shepherds. This kind of reminds me of The Last of Us a little bit right now. I'm getting some Last of Us vibes as we play through this level. This reminds me of the um, Left Behind DLC, actually. Oh, we can slide. Nice. Meet with Team 2 at the wall. There's the Hollywood sign. Cool, wouldn't it be depressing if Hollywood was in this much of a state? Just about. You need to sweep this side of the wall and we're good. We'll take the left side. It should go quick. Regroup at the gas station. You got it. I'm going to get off this quick. Is that going to fall? No. Don't think so. It sounded like it was going to fall for a second. I don't think it really matters if it did. I mean, as long as it doesn't fall while we're on it. Okay. Right, let's do this. I'm going to use the pistol actually, I'm going to use the pistol because I'm going to switch for a better weapon. What's this? It's got an ACOG sight on it. Or ACOG, whatever you want to call it. Oh crikey. So I'll get a grenade down there. What's cool about this game as well is that when you cook the grenade, you can see like in the center you can see a little meter. Which shows you how long you're holding it for. If you hold it for too long, it'll show you how long you've got before it explodes in your hands. So make sure you throw it as quick, well not as quick as you can, but make sure you throw it before that meter fills up. I think the, some of the futuristic Call of Duty games did that, to be fair. When you cook a grenade, it'll show you how long 
it will take before it explodes. Is that a ghost? No, they're civvies. Who would kill civilians, man? That's the lowest of the low. Let's go teach these bastards a lesson. Oh, oh god. Get him. You still alive? How? Okay, I don't know if there's any more around here. There's one there. Oh, I think someone has just got him. Lovely. Is there anything in here? Oh, ice cream. Shame there's no ice cream there. That's rubbish. This game does have intel. It's got something called Rourke Files. Rourke is the main antagonist of the game who we will meet later in the game. I'm not going to tell you much about him at the moment. I think we'll, we'll wait till we get to that point of the game. Okay. So we've got a little check. So now... Federation people really don't like ghosts or the US as a whole. Look at these guys. Oh, nice little headshot on him. Oh, imagine if I could take out the pilot in that helicopter. I don't know if I could do that, but we'll try it. Right, I got rid of one of them, but they're going to try and circle around this way, aren't they? Or are they just going to go? Well, I don't think they're going to come back, so I think we're clear. Is anyone up on the bridge? Oh, I'm just going to use Cyber to make sure... Yes, yeah, so we're going to be sitting ducks if we don't get rid of these soldiers on the bridge. I quite like the sniper scope fit as well. You, you don't... You can only like the, the center of the screen shows like a sniper scope. And I think that's actually pretty cool. I actually prefer this when you in snipers in first person shooters. Instead, the sniper scope doesn't take up the whole of the screen. It only takes up like half of the screen, which is pretty nice. And the rest of the screen where the sniper scope isn't showing does kind of goes a bit blurry. And I actually quite like this. I think like Modern Warfare, World of War would zoom, a, would like the scope would take up too much of the screen. If you ask me, you couldn't see anything that was happening around you. It's difficult to see what's happening around you, to be fair, because it is a bit blurry. But yeah, I actually prefer this than how it was in Modern Warfare and World of War. For some of the early Call of Duty games. I'll get, probably get rid of Sniper in a moment. I just want to take sure I've got rid of all these guys. These guys are running around like we're shooting at them. I can't seem to get a nice clear shot on these idiots. Right, sorry. I'm just going to not pop about these guys. I'm just going to move up. I can't use Riley in this mission, which is shame. I think you can press a certain button when you get further into the game and you can just control Riley with it, which is pretty nice. And you can target enemies with him and the way he takes them out, oh mate, it's violent but it's satisfying to watch. How many guys are there? Jeez. Okay, I'm going to move up. Someone there? Yeah, I knew that. I thought there was someone there. Fair, I'm literally right under the t under the under here right now. I could maybe throw a grenade up there, see if I can catch any of them. Although I don't know if they're still up there. To be fair, I've got a little idea actually. I'm going to see if I can. Yeah, I can get up here. Nice. I've never done this before. I should climb up here. I can. I just slid off the. <laughs> I just slid off. Right here, we'll get up here again then. What's a shopping trolley doing out here? This place is a mess. It kind of reminds me of The Last of Us a little bit. Well, I wouldn't say this area is quite as apocalyptic as The Last of Us. Is someone hiding there? I swear there's someone hiding there. No, I don't think there is anyone there. I thought that was someone's head there, but it's actually a flashing rocket launcher. I'll keep this gun just because it's got a silence around the scope on it. I'm going to take this. And go, I can guide rockets with the laser. Riley, go. How's Riley doing? 
Attack our enemy chopper. Alright. Well, so I want to hit the you Seriously? Oh, I did get it. Oh, nice. Lovely shot. And there's, a, there's another one? Oh, you're kidding me. I'll probably have to target that rocket launcher as well in a minute. When I get the chance. Oh, oh my god. Okay, it's doing some serious damage here. What I need to do is just hit, get it with the laser, then hopefully it'll circle around and catch it. How am I gonna... Come on, I have to press the square button to reload the rocket launcher. So this rocket launcher does not reload automatically when you shoot it, which is quite irritating. Uh, right, let's try that. See if it's going to hit him. Oh, come on. It's popping flare. Oh, hang on. They are hitting it. It's probably popping flares, that's why. I should pre reload it before I forget while well, the helicopter's out of the way. So I think one more shot should do it and it should be down for the count. Hopefully. Right, here we go. There we go. Finally got it. Well, I don't want this rocket launcher. I want my old gun back. Okay, that was a tense battle. This part of the mission here does remind me of the first mission in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 a little bit as we're heading through Afghanistan. This mission is kind of similar when you're heading through heading throughout how many blow up that building is. It kind of feels a bit similar here. Twenty minutes later, Fort Santa Monica. Even R Riley's poking his head out. Hey, he's such a badass dog. Just chilling. I think see why this doesn't remind me of Modern Warfare 2 a little bit as we head through the narrow streets. So we did exactly the same thing in the first mission of Modern Warfare 2. Oh, why can't Riley come with us? Come on, let's go find the old man. I'll see you later, Riley. Ah, it's little headquarters here. Elias, you're alive. Dad, I heard about the attack. You boys okay? Always. Walk with me. Wonder where he's taking us. I actually quite as part of the game is we get a nice view, of, a little bit of a view of the wall, all the weaponry we're going to use against the Federation. It's how they took Dallas practically overnight. So how can we help? Dad, listen, you boys. Oh, Rourke file. Nice. That's our first one. But you're also the only ones I can trust. Hey, look, whatever it is, Logan and I, we're ready. You two are going to no man's land. Wait, for real? We've been on the defensive for far too long, so I'm sending you outside the wall. We're going outside the wall. Whoa, look at this. Gather any intel you can on the enemy and get your asses back here. So where in no man's land are we going? Somewhere you know better than anyone. You're going home. Back to San Diego? Oh, this will be interesting going back there after 10 years. 